What's up guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Poor Michigan Beer. What's happening guys? Welcome back. We're going to dive right into this one. This is going to be New Belgium. Captain Dynamite IPA, guys. This is coming in at 7.7% ABV. I think this is going to retail around $9.99 per, per six pack. So that's coming in at really great value. Um, Voodoo Ranger, that usually does, guys. So they have a bunch of uh, different beers that are within that series. Tons of IPAs. Juicy Haze, uh, all the standard IPAs, guys. They've got them all, and they're all around $9.19 to $9.99. A six-pack, very, very good quality. Uh, but this one, guys, Captain Dynamite. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Let's see. I don't know why some days I can and some days I cannot, but I guess today I cannot. Um, whatever, we're going to jump into this one. Like I said, 7.7% ABV, guys. Um, I, I don't like that they don't have a canned on date for the exact time it was canned. We just have a Best Buy May, tw May 2nd, 2021. Um, so today is February 20th. So we're going to dive right in. Hopefully this is still good and fresh, guys. I believe it's still decent holding up in that can there. Um, I picked too large of a glass, but we'll pour kind of aggressive here and get a little head retention there. Boom, boom. She's pretty good looking in the glass there, guys. Pretty big beer, though, at 7.7. Um, that golden, murky, slight orange haze to her, guys. It looks like a M43, just slight, uh, slightly less uh, viscous or thick or slightly less hazy, if you will. But this is a big, hazy beer, actually. Quite, quite hazy with great uh, bright white head retention and, and uh, clingy lacing there. You guys can see that in the glass. That's, that's clinging. It's a beautiful looking golden uh, yellow orange beer with very, very good carbonation straight in the top. Um, I'm seeing some particulate floaties towards the bottom of that glass. Guys, let's go to an aroma. That's bright. It's, um, it, it's quite fruity. Quite fruity, a little bit of dank in there. I bet you if this was super duper fresh, it'd be really, really green and chivey and oniony, but it's just got a little bit of that onion dankness to it um, with a little bit of that fruity, uh, tropical fruit medley, a little bit of uh, lemon citrus in there as well, guys. A little bit of malt backbone, but more of that cracker, um, crackery kind of vibe, not quite to that doughy level, but let's see what it is at 7.7, .7, guys. It's going to be Captain Dynamite. Cheers. Not as like thick or heavy as I anticipated. It's got a good body to it at 7.7, 7, but it drinks a little bit lighter to the body, guys. I'd say it drinks more like a 6.9, uh, 6.8% beer, 7%, somewhere in that range. Going down quite smooth. There's a nice, there's, there's a great deal of carbonation in this beer. It's, it's, Quite juicy and creamy uh, in the same token, guys. But yeah, there's there's like a lemony kind of like grapefruity zest to this beer um, for the front here. But it does. It has a nice lighter crackery malt bill. A little bit of that uh, uh, caramel honey in there, guys, underneath. I get like some weird... It is. It's almost chivy oniony on the nose. It's. It's. I think it's onion and like floral mixed together. So I think the floral is showing up in the taste as well, but the aroma's quite um, chivey, oniony, uh, dry floral and kind of like hints of garlic in there. It's just a weird kind of like almost slight booziness too. It smells almost kind of hot to the nose. I think it's kind of green still is where I'm going with this beer. I don't know it's that fresh, but it, it, it almost, you could taste it like it is. There's some kind of like dried papaya, dried apricots in this beer. It's there's a little bit of that juiciness in the in the middle to front. I would say you're getting some like grapefruit skin, um, probably some some grapefruit juiciness as well, guys. A little bit of that like mango thing. I would say there's tropical fruit notes, but I get like a peachy, 
uh, apricot papaya kind of dry, dried fruit on the back end there. Kind of goes off to like a little pine bitterness. It, it's, it's quite dry on the back end. Yeah, I get like more citrus, lemon in the front, and then it transitions into like that dry kind of papaya, uh, apricot back end, guys, and then there's like piney bitterness. Um, definitely some floral arrangements going on in here, so I did get this in the nose. I'd say it, it's it's subtle, like the floral subtle, subtle underneath all those other like fruit medleys going on in there. That's quite a lot of like, I don't know, there's a lot of hops in here that's actually... Um, it's it's a barrage of, of different flavors actually, but it's it's quite smooth for 7.7. .7. Like I'm having a hard time understanding how the 7.7% ABV guys. It's going down pretty pretty light. Body drinking lighter, like I said, um, in general. That's crazy. Comes across as slightly watered down. Um, but again, adding to that drinkability, so I'm not that upset by it, but it, I don't know if that kind of compromises the quality of the hops. It almost muddles it a little bit. So um, this is actually a really darn good beer for that $9.99 range, guys. It's very, very tasty. Nice and dry on that back end. Keeps you coming back in for more. Not going to overload your palate like a sweet uh, New England style typically would, especially at 7.7. Seven. Uh, malt bill. Very easy and calm underneath all of those flavors. So this is a very nice beer, guys, at 7.7, .7, like I said. Um, and I'm going to rate this at a 3.85 out of 5. I love it for the drinkability. Uh, and if you're looking for a good, solid New England-style beer for under $15, I highly recommend this one. Again, guys, it's going to go down very, very easy. And uh, there's pretty good quality packed into this beer. So, yeah, I'm going to sit right there with it, guys. It's been another episode of Poor Michigan Beer. Do me a favor. Obliterate that subscribe button, guys. We are hashtag road to 1,000 subscribers this year. We'll see if we can get there. Help me out if you can, guys. Over and out. Cheers.